Waiting seven minutes for a train with a countdown clock is less frustrating and irritating than waiting four minutes, knuckle-biting, going, when's this train going to damn well arrive? Here's a beautiful example of a psychological solution deployed in Korea. Red traffic lights have a countdown delay. It's proven to reduce the accident rate in experiments because road range, impatience and general irritation are massively reduced when you can actually see the, the time you have to wait. In China, not really understanding the principle behind this, they applied the same principle to green traffic lights, which isn't a great idea. You're 200 yards away, you realize you've got five seconds to go, you floor it. The Koreans very assiduously did test both. The accident rate goes down when you apply this to red traffic lights, it goes up when you apply it to green traffic lights. This is all I'm asking for, really, in human decision-making, is the consideration of these three things. I'm not asking for the complete primacy of one over the other. I'm merely saying that when you solve problems, you should look at all three of these equally, and you should seek as far as possible to find solutions which sit in the sweet spot in the middle.